today soon. Ah, now the inspiration of today's makeup is going to be Itsy Wannabe. I don't wanna be da da da. And today's video, I have a giveaway that is in collaboration with Yes So stay tuned for the giveaway at the end of the video. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a lot of the questions from a lot of the hater comments. You guys have submitted so many good questions today. Questions on why I've never been on music shows, what happened to me in the last years, and why I haven't been releasing an album. And today, I'm finally going to be talking about it. If you guys see Itzy, they have a very like punkish, like a very pretty rebel high school girl. Like I'm not gonna follow anyone. I'm gonna be me kind of like style to them, which Leah, I love this girl. So I see that Itzy don't do like crazy hairstyles. It's actually very clean. I'll just have to keep my hair pretty clean. I did put extensions to make it a little long. Like, And for my clothes, Itzy inspired. I'm just wearing like this military, like kind of tomboyish, very rebel, you know, very rebel kind of look. I already prepped my skin. So I'm gonna be using this at makeup face lip gloss. Right On the packaging, it says C cup, like C cup. Like chest C cup lips. So it means like we're gonna have some big lips, just like big chest. So, ooh, just a very clear lip. Kind of like mint, like meth, like, but more like a methyl mint. This question I'm going to be answering in Korean because they asked first in Korean. 한국에서 앨범 활동 계획 없으신가요? 가수 그리스가 너무 보고 싶어요. 일단 질문해 주신 분 너무너무 감사합니다. 일단 제가 왜 한국에서 활동을 지금 몇년 동안 안 했는지를 말씀해 드릴게요. 언프리티 랩스타를 끝나고 TV에 나온 적도 없고 언프리티 랩스타를 끝나고 그 다음에 문제들이 좀 많았었어요. 일단은 좀 짧게 얘기하자면 소송 문제도 있었고 소송 문제 때문에 어떻게 보면 제가 무슨 말씀 하시는지 알죠? 그래서 그런 문제 때문에 제가 앨범이나 한국에서 활동을 안 했습니다. 솔직히 저도 너무너무 슬펐어요. 정말 오랫동안 제가 활동을 너무너무나도 하고 싶었고 이렇게 너무 오랫동안 쉬는 게 저한테는 너무나도 힘든 일인 거예요. 그래서 처음에는 아주 많이 힘들었었거든요. 그런 문제들 때문에. 하지만 이 지금은 상황이 훨씬 더 나아져서 언젠가는 꼭 한국에서 다시 또 활동을 하고 싶습니다. 그렇지만 이제 제가 혼자라서 여러분도 아시다시피 활동을 하고 싶다고 그냥 무작정 할수 있는 게 아니거든요. 뭐 앨범을 하려면 돈이 필요하고 이렇게 보면 이제 쇼 프로그램이나 어디 나가고 싶으면 꽂아줄 수 있는 진짜 팀이 필요하고 그러니까 그런 게 없다 보니까 완전 이제 활발한 활동하기 좀 힘든 거예요. 그래서 저만한 시기가 있다고 생각해요. 제가 다시 다시 엄청난 활동을 할수 있다고 믿거든요. 그래서 그 시기가 올 때까지 지금 많은 것을 준비하고 있으니까 여러분들 조금만 더 기다려주세요. 지금은 영어로 컨텐츠를 많이 하고 그리고 이제 한국에서 활동을 안 하다 보니까 한국분들이 이제 많이, 많이 잊혀간 것 같아요, 저를. 그래서 이렇게 한국분들이 댓글 남기면 은 저는 너무너무 너무 좋습니다. 제가 TV에서로 활동을 안 했어도 그래도 이제 뒤에서 한국 가수분들을 위해서 곡 작업을 하고 있고 계속 꾸준히 음악 작업은 하고 있었어요. 제 앨범은 아니더라도 그래서 그것만 아니라 한국 CF에서도 제가 제 목소리, 제 노래를 참여를 했거든요. 그래서 그런 거를 듣고 싶으시면 은 제가 인스타그램 조금 조금씩 올리니까 제가 링크를 달겠습니다. 그러면 은제 목소리를 들을 수 있어요. Alright, so next I am going to be trying the Moonshot Reve Paris Edition. And this has been a very, very height palette, so I'm so excited. <laughs> Loving, loving the package. Ooh. So definitely very springy colors. There's some champagne, some mattes, and some lighter colors up here so we can use that as a base. I think she uses too much eyeliner. You're Asian and not white. Wow. So first of all, why is eyeliner for white people and not other races? Why, what does this comment even mean? I'm so confused. Like this person needs to clarify what this person means because I don't even have anything to comment, first of all. I'm sorry, but there's only an ugly you. There's no hot to you. Like what's wrong with telling myself I'm hot, I'm pretty, I'm good, I'm confident? Like what's wrong with that? Like how sad about your life do you need to be in order for you to say that to people? Like there's nothing wrong boys and girls being in love with yourself, telling yourself you're pretty, you're amazing, you're worth it, you're hot. Because confidence is the only way you're going to move up. So never be harsh on yourself and always be confident, okay? Because there's nothing wrong with that. Next comment says, girl, your nose look hella botched. Oh, well, you know, like, screw it. Good for you. Like, good for you. Your mother gave you some really nice 
straight ass, perfect ass nose. Like, good for you. Like, well, there's other people in the world that are born with crooked noses, you know, lump on their nose. You know? Imperfection, which is called being human. Going with the deeper because I'm getting angry. And so what if like someone's nose job got botched? Like, shit happens in life. Like, has shit never happened in your life? It must be freaking like God or something. Like, nothing went down in your life. Like, they sorry to tell you the hard truth since you obviously want to hold your supposed singing career fame, but you aren't an artist nor a singer. To be a singer, your career has to be about singing and making songs, not making videos on YouTube. So is there like a time frame? Like if you don't release an album every six months, does that mean you're not a singer? All the other singers that don't release an album every single year because of internal problems with their companies or like any other problems that you don't know about. Who are you to judge? Like you've never been a singer before. You've never probably entered the entertainment career before. So like, what do you know about anything? Obviously people who think they know everything, sorry to tell you, but you might be an idiot. You guys, okay, so far I'm loving this palette. It's a lot better than the first Moonshot palette that I got. This one, I'm really loving it. Like it's blending really nicely as you guys could see. And I'm loving, loving the color. Emma says, why do you think the truth videos are important for people to see? I think it's very important to see because there's something called disclosure. I mean, there's people that don't believe in disclosure and, and believe that everything should be kept in secret, just anything about the world. But I am the opposite. I believe disclosure is going to free a lot of people. I think it's very important to at least let people know, especially because if you're gonna make the same mistake as I did, I would love if someone was to tell me about the truth about certain things so I could be at least aware of things. Do you ever plan on making a comeback to the entertainment world or join a company? Are you still friends with the unpretty people? Uh, yes, I actually recently met Nada Onni. So yes, we do keep in touch. Not like every single day or anything, but um, I mean, I love everyone. I still love everyone. I really want to try the champagne color right here. It, this looks so beautiful. All right, so as you guys have been asking me so much, uh, do I have any new music coming up? I'm going to be showing you a very brief clip because of of the quarantine everyone working at home we cannot reach a lot of people that are in the industry <laughs> i can't release anything right now so here's a really brief clip of the song coming up <laughs> So this one is, I'm not going to be doing anything crazy with it. It's going to be just a music video release for you guys because I haven't released anything in a long time. It's definitely going to be on streaming sites, so look out for that. In terms of will I be doing anything in Korea very soon, as I told you guys, um, the reason why I haven't been on for a couple years has been this reason. Of course, I would love to do a whole comeback, you know, in Korea. It's, it's hard to say, but it costs a lot of money to create an album. It costs a lot of support. Or in if you just want to be in like one little show right there harder than you think if you're independent so one day I would definitely love to come back and do like this whole I would love to be on music shows I would love to be on variety shows too you guys as long as I have people that support me including you guys I can do it I am loving this glitter first of all this glitter is so pretty what phone do you have and do you have any siblings so I have an iPhone yes I have a younger brother you play I'm planning on having kids. I don't know. <sighs> I'm not really like a, like a motherly person. Would you get more pets? If so, what kind of pet and breed would you get next? I'll get cats only. I'm not a big fan of dogs just because I had a really bad experience with dogs before. Ooh, I'm gonna be using the Universe Liquid by Roman. This is so, so pretty. I really want to try this one. This beautiful, beautiful glitter. Ooh, wow. Oh my God. Like I just swatched it in the hands. I don't think you can see in the camera, but it looks so beautiful. Okay, so I do have a soft. It's an all English song and I am aiming to actually debut in the US with this song Which is not going to be until I don't know yet, but I love the song So you guys if I was to debut in the US which will happen you guys support me because I definitely I need a lot of support I'm gonna be using the McQueen liquid liner. I love this brand. I have, they have really good makeup choices for cheap Ooh, eyeliner is so sleek. Do you see that? It's like a freaking knife point right here. Do you ever regret the decision of not being an idol or are you satisfied with your life right now? I can't say I regret it because I don't regret it, but at the same time, my life could have been so different if I did join an idol group or something like that and I went through with it. But you know, life, universe, just 
didn't let that happen to me so I'm just taking it as a sign that it wasn't meant for me but even if I was maybe I would have a really good time or maybe I would have been so depressed I don't know oh my god this is like intense lashes oh this is a good deal there's like four in here these are long lashes, but they look so natural. They just look very clean, yet it's not too much, but it doesn't look too natural because some lashes, if they look too natural, it doesn't actually pop out on the eye, so. If you could design your own K-pop label, what would it be like? What rules would you have and not? Ooh, that's a good question. Like, okay, so if I was an entertainment CEO of a company, you know what kind of concept I would do for the girls? You know that K-pop girls thingy that League of Legends did with Gaido, Madison Beer, and some other artists? I would make that kind of concept like it would be very fantasy out of this world like each of the girls would have characters like one is an elf one is a fairy one is like a leprechaun the music would be very like fantasy type i would have a lot of like animation in the music videos which which would take a lot of money but girl I think it will work. If someone's gonna take this idea, like you better pay me 10%. Ooh, look at this mascara. It is super thin, damn. What are the challenges that you face as a independent artist? So number one, I definitely would have to say money is a challenge, you guys. I know like I didn't even have a concept of money until I became like, and I've never knew like why money was so important to adults and like my parents and things like, girl, money is like everything in this world. I know it's so sad, but it is. So you need money to put out albums, you need money to have like even like recording materials, money to buy makeup products, money to buy cameras for YouTube, like everything costs money. So I think that's very challenging. I'm gonna be trying a new shading brand. This is called Coringo and this is called Pink Square Dual Shading. Like heavy package. Ooh, girl, you know I like heavy. Another thing to worry about when you're independent, you need like support. You know, you have your own platform like YouTube and Instagram, but other than that, like how are you gonna get your music out for people to hear? Like you need a very good team you need like a good manager you need good like support so definitely do you ever regret joining on pretty rap star girl the only time i regretted joining on pretty rap star was like that first time when i walked into that door i'm like bye bye but after i did the show i've never regret regretted one thing about the show because i love the whole family the crew everyone was so chill well you guys this shading is super light if you guys don't like heavy shading is like me have you met any popular k-pop idols that mention the experience oh um there is uh, i don't know if i should mention it because i don't want to feel like i'm selling out her name which i'm definitely not but i've never talked about it never really see her twice again so why not because i had a positive experience and she's like a mega star right now so okay before i say that story i have the roman better than shakes i actually have a one in a similar color i have the fig chips so i'm gonna be using the cherry chip this time now the singer the k-pop singer that i met was actually blackpink lisa i met her once the first time she saw me she's like oh only like she said like i'm your big fan i saw your tv show like the unpretty rap star and i'm like girl i'm your fan i'm your fan like she had such a bright good energy about her. If I didn't know who she was when I met her, I would have loved her because she just has this amazing, good, like positive, youthful energy about her that I really like. I am loving this blush color. What the hell? I remember the people who have good energy. If you're watching this and you still remember me, I still love you. So this is the highlighter version by Karingo. Let me put some a little bit highlight here. What do you want to achieve as a singer-songwriter? What's your ultimate dream? That's a good question. So my ultimate dream, I know I was born to leave a piece of artistic creativity on this earth. Rather that is a piece of art, rather that is a piece of song, like whatever it might be, I would love to leave something on this earth. Van Gogh and like really older artists. Like I would love to be that kind of person where I could inspire someone creatively. And at this point you guys know that i've been doing a lot of commercial songs as well i recently did a song crystal was on and i think it was i forgot the brand name anyway um sometimes they allow me to share that i've done it sometimes they don't so this one i think i'm okay to share it so after having success with your youtube channel and amazing contents thank you girl is there a career you might be interested in going to or looking to oh girl you know i have a second channel where I, it's all about crimes mystery paranormal things ghost stories i love that so I think one day I would love to be like an M 
C were like a host for like a crime show or like a paranormal show or you know like like discovery channels where they go to like different like islands and different like amazing ancient artifacts I would love to go there and just be the host of it yes it's from Mimi Box I have their mystery other collections and I love it like you know their mystery collection is really good so I'm so excited to try what color should I do I think for today's video all right this is a unique packaging. Look at this beauty right here. You're beautiful. Creamy. So you guys might not know or may know, but I'm starting my own organic makeup line. So once the company is ready to be revealed, I'll let you guys know. It is not drying at all. It is so moisturizing. I love it. And the color is not as orangey as I thought. Ooh, ooh juicy lips. Look at this beautiful earring, you guys. This is definitely Itsy style. Alright, so last few questions. What is the most important way to survive the K-pop industry? Talent, passion, or both? You definitely need talent, obviously, but if you don't, you know, a lot of people could bring out the talent of person just by practicing a lot. So passion is one thing that if I was a CEO of a company, you know, the entertainment company like we talk about, I think passion would be number one thing that I look for. If you're beautiful but you don't have any passion, like what are we supposed to do with you? At the end of the day, it's about the character and the person and your energy looking up to you as an idol and as a singer and as an influencer whatever it might be gift card to YesStyle this so you guys can shop for anything you want amazing beauty products I love YesStyle we're gonna be giving away to three of you guys so the giveaway is going to be on my Instagram so I'll put the link in the description down below remember to enter thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time